Once upon a time, there lived a colony of frogs. Very happy frogs, in fact. The grass was moist, there was water nearby, and bushes and shrubs to hide in. They lived in a neighborhood where they would freely hop from yard to yard. Or, at least they used to. Not long ago, a very grumpy man by the name of Officer Chad Smith moved in. Now, my guy Chad over here likes things very neat. His kitchen is spotless and he mows his lawn three times a week at least. And today happened to be one of the days where he would mow his lawn. Chad Smith wheeled his lawnmower out of the garage and started it up. Alarmed by the noise, the frogs started to bolt. <coughs> they screamed as they hopped away into the street. At this point, getting run over by a speeding hunk of metal was better than getting chopped into bits by a lawnmower. Other frogs hopped into the driveway where they would be trapped by a hose. Chad did not like the frogs in his driveway either. They would potty on his sidewalk, and Chad did not have the patience and energy to clean that up. Chad mowed and mowed and mowed his lawn, until the grass only stood one inch tall, the perfect height for grass. When Chad was done, he left his lawnmower in the yard to get himself a nice cold glass of water. It was Chad's favorite part of the day, 4 o'clock, the time where he would sit on his front porch, drink his ice water, and admire the lines in his yard. Now, little did Chad know, Victor the Frog had other plans. Victor was raged that his friends had to leave the yard for somebody to cut grass so violently, and dang it, Victor was going to do something about it. Victor was brave, bold. He hopped right up to the lawnmower and said, You're ugly and stupid. Victor had a plan. He was going to get on top of the lawnmower and then get inside and cut the cords so Chad could no longer mow his yard. First, Victor went to the back of the lawnmower to see if there was a better entrance there. But, <gasps> someone was already back there. Beep boop beep bop, we are the beep boop aliens of the beep boop lawnmower, said the aliens. Beep boop, what are you beep bop doing here? My name is Victor, and I am here to destroy this lawnmower and save the frogs. We beep boop don't think so, beep bop. Well, I don't really care, I'm gonna do it anyways, Victor said, and then he hopped away. Beep boop bop, dang it, it's all your fault, Alex. Beep boop, beep boop, Jake, you're the one that let them beep boop get away. It's okay, you guys, there's no possible way a Bebop Frog can destroy the lawnmower. Bebop Frogs don't have thumbs. Bebop, he can't cut anything. Bebop. Bebop, so true, Ebenezer. Beep, beep. You're so smart. The aliens gave up on trying to stop Victor because they were lazy, and frankly, no one was even paying them to be here. <laughs> Victor found his way up to the lawnmower, got on top, and took a good look around. Then he spotted it, the perfect place where he could cut the cords. Victor hopped over there and snip snip cut the cords with his sharp claws. Then he hopped down from that lawnmower and onto the porch. It sit next to Chad and watch what would happen next. Eventually, Chad got back up to finish mowing his lawn, but the lawnmower wouldn't even start. Chad was raged. What could have possibly happened? He had been sitting here the whole time and no one had touched the lawnmower. What a great mystery. Hey Chad, over here. Chad looked up but didn't see anything. There's a frog on the porch, but there's no way a frog could have talked to him. Don't be hurt my frog friends, we don't like that. Now give me some water and promise me you'll never hurt another frog again. Chad was frightened. He had never heard a frog talk. In the back of his mind, he thought maybe, just maybe, it was the big man upstairs talking to him. But since Chad's a good citizen, he got the frog water and promised Victor, I'll never hurt another frog again. The end. <laughs>